that I enjoyed in Puerto Vallarta for an entire week. And they now, put out cold cuts at breakfast. Nice. So good. Did you put them on your eggs? Uh, I had them right next to her. There you go. Well, all month long in observance of Black History Month, we have been bringing you to dine in the D's that share in that history, whether it be the food that they serve or who grace their dining rooms. This next place is steeped in history, open for over 80 years, and has been a legendary spot for jazz in Detroit. Michelle Oliver taking us to Baker's Keyboard Lounge. Oh, yeah, can you dig it? <laughs> On the corner of 8 Mile and Livernois stands a simple black and white building, which happens to play a significant part in Detroit's musical history. It was smooth, rich sounds like these and the popular musicians who played them that made Baker's Keyboard Lounge what it is today. Baker's has been here since 1934. It was originally started by Fannie Mae Baker. But it was her son, Clarence, that made it an icon. Originally it was a deli shop and Clarence came in during the evenings and started to have piano jam sessions. He um, got to know a lot of folks in the jazz community. Uh, he started bringing all the greatest jazz performers uh, around the world to play here at Baker's. People like Nat King Cole, John Coltrane, Marcus Belgrave, Nina Simone, even Miles Davis. Whenever he was in town, he would come and visit with Clarence. And I just happened to be here on that evening he stopped in and took out his trumpet and started to perform. So I've been mesmerized with jazz ever since. Currently, Eric Whitaker and his partner, Hugh William Smith, own the place. We like to consider ourselves as gatekeepers of Bakers. Take care of this good old lady that's been here for 85 years, going on 86 years. And over those last 80 plus years, a lot has changed. Baker's has gone through three eras of renovations. The biggest being in 1954, when Clarence increased the size of it and really make it into a supper club. That's the same time that he introduced this uh, piano style, style bar. They still dish up meals today. Soul food with a Michigan twist. Let's check it out. We're known for our mac and cheese here. He starts by mixing together eggs, evaporated milk, and their special seasonings. Oh, and then we're adding in the butter. Oh, right. Now for the noodles. This is, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. All that goes in there. You are strong. That is no joke. Next, we have to mix it all together. I'm definitely needing two hands for this. Then we add in the cheese. Just there keep loading it in. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is giant. How many people will this serve what we're making right now? Uh, 150. We pour it into these giant pans, cover it with even more cheese to make a nice crust, and we put it in the oven. To go with the mac and cheese, we fry up some pickerel. Which is kind of an old name for a very popular fish in the area. What is it maybe more commonly known as now? Walleye. Walleye, yeah. We serve up the mac and cheese and fried pickerel with a side of greens. A lot of people consider Baker's a restaurant, but it is truly a supper club still. Well, joining us today is Daniel Watts, executive chef at Baker's Keyboard Lounge, and so is Michelle Oliver. Why'd you choose to feature this place? So. I, we were doing Black History Month. I was trying to think of places, and you guys just nail it in terms of history. Yeah. We, we, like the, you're one of the oldest, longest-running jazz bars in the world. In the world. In the world. In the world. Exactly, wow. and you've had so many famous people play integral to jazz music and jazz in Detroit, mm -hmm. so I feel like it's a perfect place to go. So lots of history and also legendary for your food. So tell us about this amazing yes. spread you brought in. Well, one of our main dishes is uh, beef short ribs. We, mm -hmm. we can't keep mm -hmm. enough of those here. And, uh, and that's macaroni right here and cheese. Yes, this is what we made. And I loved how you said the mixing is key. And do you ever mix to the music? Always mix to the music. <laughs> you know, that's why I love working at the jazz club because it, 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 I bring everything together with the sound of music. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a whole vibe, huh? Oh, it's a whole vibe. It. All right, so what's here? This is catfish nuggets we Ooh. feature there. Nice, this is like appetizer. Yes. Baked chicken, cabbage, 
dressing. Mm. There. Then we have our famous fried wings. Very nice. I see that seasoning all over mm -hmm. the big chicken. Oh, I love it. Yes. And uh, we have pickerel with macaroni and cheese and corn. Nice. And our uh, desserts is uh, peach cobbler, sweet potato pie, we, and we also have a uh, baker's treat. You know, that's mm -hmm. a peach cobbler with a dip ice cream on it, you know. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I, was, I was saying, hmm, should I take some of this home and go and stop and get some vanilla ice cream? You can just come on down to the baker's and we'll fix it up there for you. I appreciate it. I'll do that. So, so you've had like three generations of different owners here. So how has the, the food changed over the course? I mean, it started as a sandwich shop. Yes. Wow. Well, I've been there for about 20 years, and uh, basically the food has been the same. Uh, we add a mm -hmm. few items, uh, mm -hmm. turkey chops. Uh, we All our vegetables cook meatless, mm -hmm. you know, ah. it's, it's with flavor, and we don't use any meat in our, any of our vegetables, beans and greens, and mm -hmm. that nature. Which is nice, because a lot of people can't either have pork or they don't eat meat at all, and Absolutely. they just want to have vegetables. So let's talk about some of the performances oh, yeah. that you've had at Baker's, your legendary, historical. What shows do you have coming out? Oh, tonight we have uh, LL7, Latin Jazz. Oh. You know, it started at 8 o'clock, and uh, we are located in uh, Livinois in 8 Mile, mm -hmm. you know, and tomorrow prime time, mm -hmm. you know, and... Um, you have, you have jazz music or music playing six nights a week, and on Mondays you guys do comedy too, correct? Bring the laugh on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you can laugh if you feel like, That's you can right. listen to music, depending on what mm -hmm. you want to do. It's a great place to go for a night out. Where are you located again? Eight Mile, and uh, Living North in Eight Mile. Excellent. Nice. If you want to try out Baker's Keyboard Lounge, we are giving away three $50 gift cards. For your chance to win, just go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. And while you're on Facebook, check out our Dine in the D group. Let me know where you want me to go and try next. What's your favorite spot and which places have I shown you that you went to and loved? I want to know them all. Right. And it's actually a uh, five $25 gift cards. I'm five sorry. I didn't change it from last. Okay, last thank week. you so for, five that for the correction. Five twenty. You can get some peach cobbler and ice cream. Oh. Yes.